all right so today i'm looking at an upper extremity at this segment i'm looking at just right below that axillary where the axillary takes off um now you can also see my positioning especially if you're working in a hospital you're trying to do this type of study um it's okay to have the patient's hand um i, I usually do it to get comfortable um you can also kind of put a sheet on your leg and then put on your lap and then put their hands right over so you're comfortable and um, they are also comfortable so in this view here um, you can see I'm right about right around that segment of the axillary and I'm slowly coming down slowly coming down um, right at some uh, this segment here you can see the brachial veins compressing very nicely and the artery as well um, you can also see in this image here at this point the uh, uh, the basilic vein. You can see the basilic vein taking off, and I can tell it's the basilic vein because look at it; it's kind of going off on its own. You don't see an artery attached to it, so you know that's a basilic. I'm just just following that basilic vein. You can see it right at the fossa; it splits into two. You can see that split, and you can keep following that basilic vein for as far as you want if you're doing an upper extremity vein mapping. But I'm going back up again up the arm and I'm just taking a look at the brachial veins. You can see your brachial veins, you can see the artery. When you're doing a DVT, you are compressing and just compressing, making sure that vein compresses. Now, so many of the times as you get into the fossa, you get a lot of um, different vessels. Usually I like to take a look at my fossa. At this point, you can have them bring their arm right back over. And then I'm going to look at the fossa here. Look at it again, you can see the the veins and you can see the audio now keep an eye on that at some point you would see the split and you can see that split taking place there and right to this vessel right there it's your radial vein vein and artery and i'm going to just get some more jelly on there and follow that break your vein break your vein uh, sorry radial vein radio radio again let me go back up for the confusion there you can see it split you can see your radial vein an artery right there radial vein and artery and i'm just following it down radial vein and i'm going to follow it down as much as i can you can still see it right there it gets really tiny look at that vein still winking at you right there winking at you right there you can follow it to the wrist again you can see it you can also see a cephalic vein very superficial the cephalic vein is right there very superficial i know it's a cephalic because i do not see an artery next to it I'm following again the radial vein down, radial vein. You can see the veins and the artery, the two veins and the artery, they are paired, okay? They are paired. Um, and I'm all the way down to his wrist as you can see. Now, looking at the ulna, you should be able to follow go up this route to find your ulna. So again, as I put that probe right on there, I can see my ulna right up there. I'm gonna adjust my depth one more time. All right, so this is ulna. You can see again, just putting that probe on the medial part of the arm, I can see the ulna and I'm going to just follow it up towards the fossa. That's another good way to uh, find these tinier vessels is just literally um, using, um, going to the wrist and trying to follow it up. As you go down this way, it's going to kind of go deep. So I'm going to try to see if I can follow it right at that segment and you can see it slowly try to come in right there. And it's so deep, so deep. So I'm going to again try from this route you can see it the 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 brachial veins and i'm going to just kind of watch it split and you can see as it split i'm going to turn my gain up a little bit it gets really really deep so rather than going all the way back up to look at the owner i'm just going to kind of show you another trick to the owner is just coming from the wrist and you can see right in this image here that's your owner and i kind of have it very superficially for a reason because as you go this route and that's me following the ulna. You can see the two tiny veins there. As you follow that ulna, it's, as you can see, it's traveling deeper, deeper. And this is it right there, deeper. You can see one vein, one vein and artery right there, deeper. So I'm going, I'm gonna just keep going towards is faster. And you can see at that point, it becomes, again, it's coming right in right there. See it winking at you. It's gonna come right into the brachial. All right, so you can see it coming in. You can see it coming in. And at that point, we're back into the brachial fossa, okay? So again, there are two different ways for you to follow those um, forearm vessels. You can follow from the wrist up, or you can actually follow it from the fossa down, okay? Thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps you in imaging the upper extremity veins.
for more videos you can also watch the um the the previous videos i did on the greatest on the internal jugular vein the subclavian vein and the axillary vein that was done a couple of months ago that will help you in also putting together an upper extremity venous study thanks for watching